Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. We're up at the North East Airfield on my private server and this video is aimed at people who are very, very new to Daisy. If you've just picked up the game, I just want to give you a few basic um, kind of action pointers that, that you can use to help you survive. Now this applies to PC and console, PlayStation, Xbox, even though of course I'm on PC. First off, the most frustrating thing is probably how do you eat canned food? So if we pick this canned food up, we'll see it's a tin. <laughs> we can't can't do anything. Now in Daisy, when you can do something with something, you'll have a tooltip appear on the screen. Um, now some food you can open. So for example, that uh, if we swap these over, this uh, canned tuna, you'll see it says open down on the bottom left hand corner. So I can open that and I can eat it. Now, can stuff obviously, um, let's swap it over, you can open with a can opener. Um, and in fact, if I combine those two together, remember you do that on console by pressing uh, B on Xbox, and I think it's circle on PlayStation on PC, just put it into the swap box. That, oop. Um, I can then open the can with a can opener. But you may well be thinking, well, actually, wait a minute, I can openers are quite difficult to find. That is true. But you'll find you can open cans with all sorts of unusual things. Probably the most common thing you'll find that you can um, open cans with is with knives. So you can use a knife to open a can. You can also use things like um, hatchets. I think an axe will open a can. I think screwdrivers open a can as well. I think wrenches open cans as well. So when you find a can, if you've got any sort of tool at all, just try and combine the two and see if it'll open it up. And if it will fantastic you know then you can have have a munch now what the way that the mechanic works is if you use a can opener to open a can you'll get a hundred percent of what's inside if you use something like a um, pickaxe to open a can you'll spill most of the stuff but at least you know at least you'll uh, get it open right next water now whenever you find a, t a can of a uh, can a bottle of water or a canteen so there's a canteen there as well you should never ever drink out of it right as soon as you get it you need to empty it first so what you want to do is you want to pick it up right and then what you want to do is you want to look down and then you'll see in the bottom left hand corner the option to empty that water bottle and that's what you'll do you want to empty it out do not drink it because there's a chance that the water has gone bad and you'll get cholera from drinking it now once you've got an empty water bottle by all means come over to find a um uh, water pump now water pumps are the only source of fresh water on day Z rivers aren't the sea isn't this is where you get your fresh water so you would just aim at the pump and you can fill up your fresh water okay however there is another way of getting fresh water um, for bottles and that is using purification tablets so if we found this canteen and then here we go see these purification tablets so let's pick those up and then if I combine the canteen and the purification tablets you'll see I've now got a tooltip to purify so this means basically I put in a tablet into the uh, bottle and it's going to purify it so now I can now drink from that canteen and I'll be safe Things like cans of Pepsi, cans of Coke, um, Spite, all that sort of stuff, that, that's fine. Now, let's talk about dirty hands and food. So if we, if we run over here, what you should find is, right, so here is a chicken that I, kill, <laughs> I killed earlier. So if I, if I get my um, knife out, now, let's, um, so we're going to skin and quarter this chicken. So if you kill a chicken or, or any sort of animal, um, with a gun then you're going to need a sharp implement like a knife or a screwdriver or an axe or a machete to skin and quarter it I'm going to skin and quarter it now to get the get the meat remember you would then have to cook the meat but that'll be in a separate video what's very important to notice now is my hands look at the hands on my character see how they're all dirty 
Okay, so they're all covered in blood. So we do not want to eat while we've got dirty hands. Now what you can do is if you've got some water on you, you do have the option, see in the bottom corner, to wash hands. So I could wash my hands that way. Or if you go down to a river or the sea, I think the sea works as well, or a pond, it will give you an opportunity to wash your hands. Or if we come over to a pump, you'll see wash hands. So we're going to wash our hands. Ooh, are you washing hands or are you drinking? Right, we started drinking, there we go. So we're washing our hands. There we go. And now if we look, my hands are now clean. So I'm now safe to eat and drink again, specifically eating. Now the other way to deal with this is to um, wear gloves. If you wear gloves, you don't need to worry about it. Your gloves can get dirty um, and it won't, it won't matter at all. Now, let's talk about rags. Rags are incredibly important in Daisy. You use them for bandages, you can use them to start fires, you can use them to make rope. Um, so really, you should always have, I would say, you want to at least six rags at any one time. And the way that you get rags is just go up to a piece of clothing with a knife in your hand and it will say create rags. Now remember, when, you, when you're when you creating rags, if the clothing is dirty beforehand or ruined beforehand, you'll end up with dirty rags. Um, so you don't particularly want to use them as bandages. Some items of clothing you can't turn into rags. So that will be stuff like um, um, uh, raincoats um, and some of the pea jackets. In fact, look, this hunter jacket, I can't turn into a rag. But that kind of leaves me on to the final point for this video, which is kind of staying warm so in day z right all the stuff that you have has um, an insulation value so if i click on my hunter jacket here you'll see it says best insulation um, but as stuff gets worn or it gets wet it starts to lose insulation you know, and you'll notice that if you're caught out in the rain you'll get the, the wet icon appear down in the bottom right hand corner now i can't really show you um exactly how it works because i'm not wet but the way it works is when you're wet what you want to do is, let's put that knife away. You want to take your jacket off and put it into your hand. And what you'll get is in the bottom left hand corner, or you'll get a tooltip that says ring. And then you want to wring your jacket out. And that will wring it out until it's damp. And you want to do that with your trousers. If you've got a hat, that you can do it. Certain things like your boots and your backpack, you can't wring them out. And once you've got them to, to a damp condition, you, know, you can then put them back on again and you'll be regaining their. Um, regaining their insul top insulation value and obviously you can repair them as well with things like um, sewing kits or duct tape and then you could also create a fire and if you take them off near a fire or stand near a fire but it's quicker to take stuff off near a fire it will dry them out completely and you can put them back on again okay there we go hopefully those nice little simple tips if you're new to daisy they'll help you to survive a little bit longer without getting ill and with having oh no no stop stop i almost i almost, I almost forgot guns i almost forgot about guns so guns in daisy dear me so in daisy when you find a gun it might not have a magazine in it and even if it has a magazine in it that magazine might not have any bullets in it and if you find some bullets they might be in a box so the first thing to know is that when you pick up a box of bullets that we've got here you need to take them out of the box so you need to unpack them so let's unpack these 357 bullets and that will give you some bullets in your hand and you'll also have some paper on the ground so gosh i've got lots of rubbish here let's get rid of some of this stuff so let's put them into there right so let's say then we found a deagle okay so there's a nice pistol now, now as you can see this deagle hasn't got a magazine in it <laughs> that's a bit of a bummer isn't it so you know we can't we can't shoot it well we could have a go nothing's going to happen but we have got a magazine i found a magazine earlier so let's um put that away now this magazine unfortunately though is empty nine round eagle magazine takes 357 ammo but we've got some 357 ammo here so if we combine the two you'll see we can now load the magazine so I'm putting bullets in my magazine. Now, if you've never heard of this before, this will probably load you, blow your mind. I know it blew my mind with the with the, the idea that wait a minute, you, you've got to 
you've got to load bullets into a magazine. How absolutely nutty is that? So let's um, put that way. Oh, have I got? Yeah, there we go. Now, what do we do with our? Uh, where's the deagle gun? What do we do with the deagle? Do I throw it on the floor? I've lost my deagle. Three fifty-seven rounds. There, there's a there's a nine-round deagle mag. Three fifty-seven. I had one in my hand, didn't I? Not that long ago. Hunter pants. Where's my deagle? Where's my jacket? Must be in my jacket. There we go. So there's our deagle. So now we've got our deagle. What we can do is we can hold it up. And if we press R, that will cock the gun. But if we hold R, dunk, we've just loaded it. And it's now ready to go. Because if you look in the bottom hand corner, bottom left hand corner, you'll see I've got deagle one with eight left in there. Now, on console, it's a little bit different. Um, you probably have to look it up. So I can't quite remember. I think with console, it's you aim down the sights with the left button, with the left trigger, and then on PlayStation, I think you press triangle, and on Xbox you press Y or press and hold Y. You'll have to, if you're ever not sure about um, how to do something, if you just go into the options and then go into the controls, it will give you all the controls to do stuff. So you can just look stuff up that way. Right. So there we go. Hopefully. That has been a useful, uh, some useful hints and tips. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? You're dead now. Hopefully there's been some useful hints and tips for uh, surviving Daisy and getting yourself past that very, very frustrating first hour. I know for me, I th when I first started playing Daisy and I picked up a tin of food and I couldn't... You're just like, well, shouldn't I just be able to eat it? No, you need to find something to open the tin. When I first found my, f when I found my first magazine, no, you can't use a gun in a, ma a magazine and a gun. You need to um, you need to load the bullets into the magazine and load the magazine into the gun, and then you've got to load the gun. How crazy! How crazy that it drove me absolutely nuts. Thought it was the worst game in the world. Now I think Daisy is one of the best games in the world. Um, but there we go. Hope you found that useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I will of course see you again soon.